Welcome to a journey through the twists and turns of Hollywood, where the glitz and glamour often mask the roller coaster ride of an actor's career. Today, I am diving deep into the captivating story of Jennifer Love Hewitt, an actress who has seen her path from teen idol to experienced performer as compelling as the roles she has played. From her breakout moments in the 90s slasher scene to her unexpected forays into comedy, television, and even music, Hewitt's career is a testament to the unpredictable nature of showbiz. Through highs and lows, box office hits and misses, and critical acclaim mixed with tough reviews, her journey offers a unique lens on fame, resilience, and the search for lasting success in an industry that's always looking for the next big thing. So, if you're ready for a tale of talent, perseverance, and the realities of Hollywood through the eyes of Jennifer Love Hewitt, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started on this fascinating ride. Stay tuned, because you won't want to miss what's coming up next. In the late 90s, the success of Scream sparked a slasher film frenzy, targeting teen audiences with tales of terror. Amidst this craze, numerous young stars emerged, yet few managed to leave a lasting impression. Among the exceptions stands Jennifer Love Hewitt, whose journey from minor roles in early 90s films like Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit, to significant parts in direct-to-video releases, laid the groundwork for her breakthrough. Despite early indifference towards her work, Hewitt's career trajectory shifted dramatically, with her role in I Know What You Did Last Summer. This film, penned by Kevin Williamson before his Scream success, struggled to find a studio due to the perceived staleness of the genre. However, following Scream's blockbuster success, Sony Studios eagerly acquired Williamson's script, setting the stage for Hewitt's casting. Interestingly, Hewitt wasn't the first choice for her role. Melissa Joan Hart was initially preferred but declined, opening the door for Hewitt and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Despite initial reluctance from the producers, both actresses were eventually cast, joining what would be hailed as one of the best ensembles in slasher history. Ryan Phillip, another key cast member, also joined under unusual circumstances, proving that sometimes the most unlikely choices lead to the most memorable outcomes. Following the success of I Know What You Did Last Summer, which grossed to $125 million against a $17 million budget, Jennifer Love Hewitt's career seemed poised for continued success. However, her subsequent choices in roles led to a series of unfortunate outcomes, highlighting the precarious nature of Hollywood careers. Before delving into her career's downturn, it's crucial to acknowledge the controversy surrounding I Know What You Did Last Summer. The film, based on Lois Duncan's novel, deviated significantly from its source material by incorporating a homicidal maniac, a plot element absent in the book. Duncan was reportedly unhappy with this transformation, feeling misled about the film's direction, which sparked a scandal, a rarity for the time. This controversy did little to dampen the film's success or the newfound fame of its stars, including Hewitt. However, her decision to star in Trojan War soon after illustrated a perplexing choice. Trojan War, a crass teen comedy produced by Warner Studio, suffered from dismal test screenings and ultimately flopped, earning a mere $300 in its brief theatrical run, before being relegated to rental status. The stark contrast between the success of I Know What You Did Last Summer and the failure of Trojan War exemplifies the unpredictability of an acting career, where a single decision can drastically alter an actor's trajectory. This was followed by Telling You, another comedy, which, despite performing marginally better, still indicated a troubling trajectory with its modest box office take and poor audience reception. Yet, not all was lost for Hewitt. Can't Hardly Wait proved to be a brighter spot, earning $25 million on a $10 million budget and garnering her an MTV Movie Award nomination, a testament to her enduring appeal despite previous setbacks. The sequel, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, despite its increased budget and critical panning, did not completely derail her career. However, the rapid succession of films, with four releases in just a year, and the mixed critical reception, underscored the volatile nature of Hollywood fame. Hewitt's journey through Hollywood's unpredictable landscape continued with The Suburbans, 
which garnered a meager box office return of $11,000 and lukewarm audience ratings. This period marked a pivotal shift in Hewitt's career as she ventured into television with Time of Your Life. Despite slightly better reception, the series was short-lived, prompting Hewitt to recalibrate her approach to role selection. Her portrayal in the Audrey Hepburn story offered a glimmer of hope, earning critical notice despite its limited distribution. This project hinted at Hewitt's potential for more substantive roles, though it didn't significantly alter the trajectory of her career. However, Heartbreakers presented a notable turning point. Despite the film's troubled pre-production phase, which saw numerous cast and director changes, Hewitt landed a lead role alongside Sigourney Weaver, Gene Hackman and Ray Liotta, thanks in part to the 11th hour exit of other actors. Hewitt's casting in Heartbreakers was a serendipitous twist, netting her the highest paycheck of her career at $4 million. The film's production was noteworthy for its challenges, including the costly post-production removal of a sweatshirt digitally from around Hewitt's waist, a minor detail that became a significant expense. Despite these hurdles, Heartbreakers enjoyed moderate success, particularly in Russia, though it failed to make a significant impact in the Western market. Following Heartbreakers, Hewitt appeared in The Tuxedo with Jackie Chan, a film that despite a substantial budget and Chan's popularity, achieved only modest box office success and faced critical panning. Her involvement in Garfield in 2004, despite the film's commercial success, was seen by many as a sign of a career in distress, a sentiment echoed by Bill Murray's harsh criticism of his own role in the movie. This phase of Hewitt's career underscores the risks actors take in project selection and how a single film can impact public and industry perceptions. Transitioning to television, Hewitt found a more stable footing with Ghost Whisperer, which enjoyed a five-season run, showcasing her ability to lead a successful series. However, her film projects during this time, such as Shortcut to Happiness and Delgo, faced significant challenges. Shortcut to Happiness, embroiled in studio bankruptcy and disowned by its director Alec Baldwin, and Delgo, a long-delayed release with disappointing box office returns, highlight the unpredictable nature of film production and release. Despite these setbacks, Hewitt's talent was recognized with a Golden Globe nomination for her role in the TV movie The Client List, which she successfully expanded into a television series. However, creative differences and production disputes eventually led to the show's cancellation, illustrating the complexities of balancing creative vision with production realities. In recent years, Hewitt's focus has shifted away from the limelight towards her family and music career, where she has found success, particularly in Japan. Her story is a testament to the challenges of navigating Hollywood's ever-changing landscape, the importance of resilience, and the potential for reinvention. As I close this chapter, it's hard not to wonder about the future. Hewitt's story isn't finished. Yes, the road has been rocky, and yes, the signs pointing towards a major comeback are not brightly lit. But in the world of entertainment, the next act is always just a script away. Could there be a resurgence on the horizon for Jennifer Love Hewitt? Only time will tell. What do you think lies ahead for Hewitt? Could a single role reverse the tides of fortune? Share your thoughts, theories and hopes in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the ebbs and flows of a Hollywood career, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more captivating stories and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all my latest content. Until next time, thank you for watching.